Oh, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get him July 1st. We're gonna get him. Alright, well, since you answered that already, uh, are you rooting for any teams in the World Cup? Yes. Okay, so Shivana, what did I miss in the World Cup this weekend? Mexico beat Germany, which was a big deal. Right. Um, Nigeria lost to Croatia, so but even though they lost like the game, they still like won the World Cup of best kids. Out of what you've seen over this weekend, who do you think is going to win the World Cup? Well, I mean, you only had a couple matches this weekend so far. Everyone saw Mexico beat Germany. That was kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. um, also, Iceland getting a result against Argentina and Messi keeping the struggle. So I think who's going to win is France because everyone who's supposed mm. to be a big player has looked pretty weak. I think Germany obviously losing to Mexico has been pretty weak. Uh, I mean, Belgium won today, which is, I guess, good, but, you know, I think the, the heavy hitters like Spain and Germany aren't going to be quite as well, and I'm, I'm, I'm going for France to win. Well, I mean, I love Mo Salah, so I'm rooting for Egypt, even though they're un the underdog, but I think Mexico really has a chance. Personally, it's like U.S. or nothing for the most part, and them not being in the tournament, I'm kind of just like... You know what I mean? Like, I'm watching it. I'm watching it sometimes. But you're not really rooting for anyone. Yeah, I mean, I want to see, like... Poland do well, like my grandfather's family's from Poland, but... But like from, a, from an analytical standpoint? Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, I don't know, man. Germany's supposed to be a favorite, right? Yeah. And they shit the bed, so we'll see like if they bounce back. I'm Korean, so obviously I'm rooting for South Korea, but Panama, uh, two of my favorite players on my local MLS team play for Panama, so I'm rooting for Panama to win the whole thing. Now that we're in this whole soccer craze, I actually got a chance to attend this event yesterday, so I'm gonna throw it over to that footage. Welcome to the Adidas Tango Tournament. For those who don't know what that means, it basically means from the stadium to the streets. Today, one lucky person will be taking home the MVP trophy and will be winning a trip to Moscow representing New York City in the Global Tango League Final. Let's go check it out. We are at the t-shirt booth where you get to customize your own t-shirts. I've got Jeff the artist here. He actually designed all these patches. The end results, pretty clean. Some light. Feast your eyes on Adidas' new boot, the X18 Plus. This is the professional version. These are what the pros are using currently in the World Cup. And this is the street version. As you can see, there are some differences. Street version has boost in it. The professional version uses a technology called skeletal weave. It's a combination of yarn woven together with mesh. No laces, so the ball won't get deflected on knots and very, very light. The whole inspiration behind this is all about speed. I would equate this to an empty can of soda. That is how light this is. Good luck to all the players playing in the pitch. The festivities are still going on. I'm gonna send it back to the office. Uh, are you rooting for any teams in the World Cup? Yes. My favorites are Belgium, France, and Germany. You're not gonna flip flop like you did in baseball, right? I might. <laughs> are you money? I got, I got, I got boys. I got my boys that play for France. They play for Belgium. I got, a, I got boys all over the place. So we gonna yeah. see. I'm supporting them. So. All right. All right, That's man. It. What's in the box? Uh, the good folks uh, behind Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom sent us something interesting. So something dino dino related. Dino related. Is it Chris Pratt? No, he's a little too buff to be to be in the box. Contained in a okay. box this size. But, uh, Is it Bryce Dallas Howard's shoes? It might be oh. a bunch of like mosquito embryos with oh, I'm uh, looking forward to this. Dino DNA from way way back way in back. the day. Whatever it is. You know All the right. roars? Alright. Is this price? What? <laughs> An inflatable full body jumpsuit. Oh thank god there's a fan yeah. included for ventilation. Battery operated fan and gloves. Do we believe in dinosaurs? Or? I mean Dino. according to fossils. Oh, well, I, this is the thing. Like my son was really big into I'm dating myself. My son was really big into fossil or into dinosaurs. And you would read these books and it's like 
the dino shape could change based off of how the person found the bone. So like if there was a bone in the hand, but it might have got shifted when the thing got fossilized, the bone could have been like growing out of its head or something. So you don't really, it's hard to really say. I'm gonna go with the Allosaurus being the most powerful. The Ooh, Allosaurus. Had an unhingeable jaw. I don't think this is gonna fit me. I feel like it would. I don't think so. Oh my god. This is the fan. It's the fan. Inflate it. That's how dinosaurs uh, were were made. This is all awkward. Inflated by. It's like a. You know what it looks like? It looks like a mosquito net. Yeah, I feel like somebody smaller than me is gonna have to get in this. Where's Frazier? Alright, uh, there it is. And that concludes the unboxing segment with Kawanoga. <laughs> Fast. Great job, team. Can we just get on camera that he looks like Hope today? <laughs> Don't you Show always look like Hope? The best dressed rapper I love. Like, come the <laughs> best Show the best dressed rapper, you know? Him oh, with the rock and roll? When the new music dropped, uh, these from the god Biggs, personally. Okay. Just kidding, shout out Biggs though. First of all, J-Rock Redemption might be a, a top three album of the year. So don't sleep on that. We got Nas. Yep. Um, you can take a nap on that. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Just wow. Kidding. Uh, I was at the listening. I think the Slick Rick song is always going to ring off hardest for me. I was Maya's lazy that. ass didn't make it. Mm -hmm. um, there's no bars on Nas to stick in the ribs. The music is I'm good. Not, I, don't, I heard it in the club this weekend. I heard the R Slick Rick one. That's brown okay. points, I guess. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it didn't. It didn't really do anything for me. Well, yeah, Slick Rick not gonna do anything in one over. What about uh, Jay Z and Beyonce? Album of the year. Man, get it's, album it's of you the year. It's album of the year. <laughs> it's so easy, light work. Listen, I then told y'all this was coming. Go back, check the fucking records. 2015, I told y'all about this. 2015, I told you it would be fire. Y'all doubted me. Drunken love, Jay. Did you did you know anything about this beforehand? Did you know anything he, about this, like this, specifically? Yeah. No, nah, I'm not. <laughs> the Rock is down the block. Right? <laughs> you got to be honest and admit that, irrespective of anything Pusha T did or said, I'm upset. It's not a good song. Diplomatic, God's Plan, Nice for What, all those, Luck Alive, like, like he had a string of like like y'all had me fucked up hits, and then I'm upset ain't it. So that kind of like, you know, a little shaky, but um, we'll see. I still think the album, like, Nice For What is still one of the best songs of the year. Whatever he has in the album will still be good, but it's, you're lying to yourself if you say Pusha T won't change how you hear certain things. I'm gonna close the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna have the T-Rex end it with a go between these two camera bags. Give me T-Rex. Woo!